everyone, this is Mike Chick95 along with my usual cohorts. And Orphan Joker. And we are doing our review of the new Uncharted film, which Joker saw a week ago when we just saw it tonight as it's recording. Um, Marky Mark! So, before we get into the reviews, I figured that I can get the numbers done since I got them right here. As of it current stands, critics rate this film a 4.1 out of 10. <laughs> But audiences rate this film a 9.0 out of 10. 9.0? Their uh, budget was $120 million. And as of right now, they box office $337.3 million. So that's those are the numbers as of this recording right now. And probably not going to get fixed uh, anytime soon. Because I think this movie's about ran its course through theaters. Since I'm the Uncharted Lack uh, fan here, I can go first. I will say that um, when they were trying to copy like the mechanics and the chemistry and how the story flew out through the games and everything, I thought the movie did a really good job at doing that. Because it, I really felt like I was watching a, a cutscene movie from a video game when it came to this like Uncharted and whatnot. I did not like the fact that they used the uh, the cargo ship plane scene from Uncharted 2 in the very first movie. I felt like that was a little too soon for that. I felt like that should have been developed on later on and everything. This film should have been based more off of the first game, I feel like, instead of just, oh, look, here's some cool things from all these other games and everything. Casting. Cast, cast, <laughs> casting was my <laughs> biggest issue in this film. Um... Based off of delivery, it was alright, but I am not 100% sold on it. Um, Holland as Nathan Drake. As a young baby boy, Nathan Drake, I can see it, but at the same time, I I think he needs to... I don't know. I, I, it's, it's hard, because he's been in so many movies recently. He's like the new popular actor in, in Hollywood lately, and... I feel like that's starting to become the issue when it's for Tom Holland. The other, the, okay, it's Mark Wahlberg. Um, yeah. Marky Mark. Marky Mark uh, oh, goodness. His chemistry with uh, Tom Holland was actually not bad because when I was actually watching the film and watching them talking, I really felt like I was actually watching Drake and solely talking. But at the same time, it looked like it was Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg talking while sharing a couple beers. Yeah, like I said, their chemistry was very well, and I felt like they actually sat down and watched the games and actually were able to portray the character the best they could. Wahlberg, not too much. Just some bits here. I was like, okay, he's actually trying. Something just still felt off when it came to, like, mainly, like, this, just the casting. Um, the actress who they picked for Chloe, I thought was actually, on like, spot on. Like, I felt like she played her role as Chloe from Uncharted 2. Again, I'm like, she's in Uncharted 2, but I started remembering that she was introduced in the game, but at the same time, her and Drake had history beforehand, so it made sense to kind of show them develop their relationship in this movie to kind of show, okay, that explains why they know each other already. The cameo in this film, I actually kind of marked out. Uh, there's a scene in the film, uh, they're, they're walking on, on the shore, and whatnot. The actor, voice actor Nolan North is in this film. If you guys don't know, he's the voice actor of Nathan Drake in all four of the video games and also does the voice for Deadpool in some animated films. Basically, this film was not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a complete fucking train wreck. <laughs> like, just, just, I thought it was going to be awful. But... It was entertaining. I did laugh a couple times at the good parts and the bad parts. Um, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> what? Um, you didn't even yeah, a cat? The <laughs> character development yeah, was actually pretty decent, too. Mm -hmm. um, some things need to be tweaked or changed in the next film. Basically, I would give the sequel to this film a second chance if they change stuff and everything, especially Mark Wahlberg. Somebody give him some acting lessons, please because I'm tired of seeing him acting like he's been in the same movie for 15 years. My rating, since I'm, I'm, I'm rating since I'm the big Uncharted fan here, uh, man, like, I, ha I was conflicted. I had problems with this film, but at the same time, I didn't. But it, usually when I say that, I usually go for a 5 out of 10, but this film was not a 5 out of 10. So, I 
I'm gonna have to go with like a 6.7. Like it's not quite a 7 out of 10, but it wasn't horrible. I still liked it, but I'm willing to give the second film another another chance just to see where they go from here and hopefully improve things and then actually, again, give Wahlberg acting lessons. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a 6.7. Okay, so I've never played the Uncharted games. So I'm going to come as an unbiased thing. Uh, there's two Ditto. ways. There's two ways that you can judge this. You can judge this as a person who's seen the Uncharted thing, and you judge it as this. This was one of my favorite video games. Going into a movie, they better make it perfect. Do I'm going to go watch Which a movie. I understand. I'm going to watch a I movie. Was to, I was trying to go <laughs> for Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> for me, I was trying to go for like a, a double lane per thing for this, but it was kind of hard for me. So well, that's hey, the benefit that's, of having people yeah, who have different not seen perspectives. It, yeah. We're going to look at it from. Now, it is going to affect the score based on... So, I wrote down some different things, and I rated it on how well it did in certain aspects, and then that's how it's getting my rating from for this one, because it's a weird one to rate, because it's a video game adaptation. The first thing I'm rating on is its source material, how, how much it kept to the source material. So, it looked like, with casting alone, um, it kind of fucked up on some of the source material, and it seemed like it was kind of all over the place on when the events happened, like you said, the... The, the cargo ship thing wasn't until the second Yeah, they were movie. using elements from, like, later games and the origin of this film, which I, I bet they did that for, like, just to get people's attention and everything. Which typically, in a movie adaptation of a video game, you don't you don't want to 100% be to the video game, because then everyone's going to complain, and they're going to say, oh, that was basically just... They just rehash the video game and do a, a movie. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to copy um, and paste, so, so that's why I was conflicted. There were slight edits, but I think that they it was kind of all over the place a little bit from what I've seen. So uh, on source material, I gave him like a seven. Um, realism, this is a fun movie. You know, I, I say about fun movies, you just can't pay attention too much. There are several different things that are not realistic about this film because it's from a video game. Um, one that heavily just made me kind of do the rock eyebrow in, in the movie theater was when they picked up the helicopter they used the helicopter to pick up the ships in, in, in the net I didn't know if I was watching Fast and Furious or if I was watching that not at um, that particular scene but I happened to look over some time in the movie and I just see him do this <laughs> <laughs> um, so they uh, they uh, actually one, one thing that was a big goof in the film was they showed them kind of digging out a little bit under the ships a little bit to get the net under there there's no way they would have got the fucking net under and it would have been there for like a week. Oh, yeah. Also, the kind of air uh, helicopter that they used to pick that up There's did no cannot way. carry that payload. That whole thing pissed me off of the boats. And then the mid-air mid collisions that still hit, and you're saying that that can still handle that So payload? It's so, so okay. old, it fall, the ship would have fallen apart when they picked it up. The, the, the reason I why... Because like, it was on dry land. That all, to me, was completely unrealistic. The reason why I didn't really knock too many points off of that is because, I mean, I am the Uncharted guy here shit like that happens in Uncharted games. A lot of nonsensical, like, that shouldn't really happen, but it looks cool, so we're gonna do it anyway, so... But, like, you, I, I'm getting where you're coming from on that, and I'm just, that's why I'm not knocking on it too much. So the thing is, they're trying Which, to make uh, this from a whimsical video game to a movie, and they added a lot of real-life things to it, so they could have had a good reasoning on how this can happen. They could have just had a helicopter that was big enough that could fucking pick that up. Like a cargo bob or some shit. I will yeah. make a quick note. Um, the heli that, that scene with the helicopter and the boats was not in any game, so that was original idea right there. It, it works might. for Uncharted, though, okay? <laughs> so yeah, Uncharted does some pretty, some pretty so random me, stuff. So. Now, there are some things that were realistic, some things that are not so realistic about it. So I, I'm, put, I'm putting the realism at a six on, on, on realism, because there's quite a bit of bullshit in there. Um, the casting was an eight. I feel like it was a good cast, um, other than like some of the characters were really hard to pay attention to and they also wasted I can never pronounce his name Antonio Banderas yes they wasted uh, Puss in Boots he plays an excellent villain mm, yes yes, yes. And, uh, and they made him seem like a crybaby that's, another, a that's another thing I wanted to point out is like that's another thing they do in the games where they make you think that this is the real big baddie but in all reality it's someone else like three quarters of the way through the, the, the story or whatever which I kind of saw that coming unfortunately action for this film um, just ten. Yeah. I mean, this entire film was so good. Action packed. Pirate scene. Um, there's Ooh. always things happening. Um, so that was cool. Uh, story. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit. Uh, story was four for me. Uh, I, I felt like this the story itself wasn't super in depth. 
Um, and I don't feel like that was. I didn't like it. Pacing for this film was seven. It didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel like it dragged on. It felt like it was a good pace. I didn't go like, oh, when the fuck is this movie gonna end? <coughs> Batman. Set up for the sequel. One. I say it's a one because of the goddamn post credit scene. To, to unpack this, so I'm not confusing something. So the the very first one shows we assumed his brother in jail, correct? Mm-hmm. The next one shows what is assuming setting up for the second one somewhere between the first and the second movie. Yes. Um, and his brother is. Yeah, is that, that his, was brother? his brother? Right, that yeah. was his brother, right? Right. In the, in the jail cell, yeah. No, no not the jail cell. The guy. The I, that pirate ship I sitting at the table. That was what? Totally Why no, did it wasn't. look like him? It was wasn't. The that, actor. That's it what confused not. me. I was like, it's either Pretty his brother sure. or they did a shitty job with making the if, guy look if different. They're, if they're gonna try and loosely follow the, the source material of, of the games, they're not gonna reintroduce reintroduce his brother until like maybe the third or fourth film. Number one, if it's not the brother, that's terrible for them to have somebody cast r- right real close to the brother. Yeah, the blonde guy. Like Shaggy beard, same build, same voice, kind of. It literally looks like the exact yeah, same actor. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, what? Um, so, I mean, it may not have happened in the original thing, but that's what it looks like to me, and if that is what it is, then uh, that's a one for fucking terrible setup, because it's like, that's a, it shows the brother, obviously has always been a good guy, <coughs> he's a guiding voice in this movie, and then after credit scene, the first one shows him in jail. Oh yeah, he's alive. And in the next scene, oh he's evil. What the and fuck? like, I'm not gonna 100 percent defend him because I don't know where they're gonna go with this. And, yeah. Uh, and and if we are wrong, if I'm wrong in this, I want you to replay this in our Uncharted 2 thing, and and just have an idiot clown point at me or something. All of those combined, that gives it that lands me at a six. But since it's a video game adaptation, I'm giving it a minus one for that, giving it down to a five. Overall. <laughs> Because he, he puts video games and comic book stuff I, in the same category. I, I, anyway, I, yeah. Yeah, comic we already had this discussion in Batman. If you want to go back and see that, here it, here it is. Video game adaptations are worse than superhero adaptations because they're historically all bad. This one was actually one of the better ones. Tomb Raider was pretty good. That. I feel like this was one of the very better video game adaptations I've ever seen. Um, and I and it is a really fun movie. If you don't pay attention, to, if you've you're going to very, very like this film if you've never seen Uncharted and you don't want to pay attention too much and you just want to watch a fun movie. Mm-hmm. So your kids would love it. If you just take your kids <laughs> out to the theaters and they don't understand what's going on, but they see the big ships going through the air, this is the movie for them. Me and Mr. Mike Check had a conversation after I watched it a little bit, but it's it's we, we had worries before we even started to watch the movie that the bad, bad pick for actors. Um, do I feel like they did a good job of acting, like physical acting, Interacting action, you know, dynamics, all that stuff, really good. But Mark Wahlberg and uh, Tom Holland, I feel like very poor picks. Tom Holland, we mentioned, he's in a ton of movies. It's, it's like they were poor picks, but yeah. at the same time, their chemistry weirdly worked. But at yes. the same time, it's like I like this, but I don't like this. Yes. So if 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 they were in no other movie but this one, I feel like it would be good. But it, it was a problem. So the first is Mark Wahlberg tried to hold the appropriate like slightly western accent for about the first five minutes of the movie and then it was just like your cousin from boston and it's just stupid something i did like the tom holland the the the, the, the character getting like the slow character development you know slowly getting first he gets the necklace then then he gets the shirt. Then at, at some point in the ship, he, he picks up the harness. Oh, the character development yeah, in the, in the really book really is good. It's really good. But Mark Wahlberg, I'm going to wear jeans and black pants and a black shirt to most of the movie. And at the end, I'm going to have my Hawaiian shirt and the mustache. And I was the like, caterpillar. no. No. There was actually something important that I didn't like that, that kind of bothered me. Oh, <laughs> Mike disappeared. Why do you know? It's magic. TV magic. Okay. <laughs> the main villain was like this... Like, you know, from this deep family, super deep and dark, and this 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 idea of like, trying to get back his family treasure and stuff, and then his dad, it's, it's a switch. It's like his dad's like, I don't like this. I hate you. And he's like, no, not my daddy. I got the proof to my daddy. And just they stopped being cool and scary at that point. And when he died, I was kind of like, that's okay. I mean, kind of a crybaby anyways. The other thing that bothered me was they they put it pretty strongly that this guy isn't necessarily evil, and he's just hiring people. He's not asking them to do evil things, and that the treasure is technically his family's to begin with, so why wouldn't he pursue getting it? 
And why is he doing the E for wanting to prove himself to his dad and get back a treasure? And, like, he's not murdering people. He's, he's literally going to buy the thing at an auction. My only problem with Antonio Banderas' character is it's not the character itself. It's just... It's just it's just how Spider Kitty. how promotions have been going recently, and since there's a new Puss in Boots movie coming out, all I could think was a giant Mexican cat mm-hmm. talking the entire time. Also, I blame promote promotion of the new movie coming out. He's just he just recently was playing a villain in a in a movie that didn't land so well, the Doctor Doolittle movie, which is where it's just like I am a villain, and I was like, you don't have to be a villain. Something I did like about this movie though was was the back and forth dynamic, the the. The beginning, the, the boy sneaking to... Well, the, the character development, the boy sneaking to this place. That's how he gets the ring. But then he's a bartender, and he does his stuff, and he, he reads the girl and takes her her takes her necklace, and then Mark Wahlberg takes the necklace, and he finds out that the map's here. And the, the idea of, like, slowly building this, like, layered thing felt like... Uh, not I haven't played the video games, but it, it felt like other video games that I played. Yeah. Where it's, it, like... It's, that, all that... It felt story. really good that way. It's like... And and the, like the the mystery of it, the oh oh she's here she's good she's bad how did you get that she got it over there all that stuff you're and the, explaining the way the right camera there. angles were zooming around was really good all that stuff you're explaining right there is, really is, good. is the one thing I liked about this movie is that mm-hmm. I, it felt like an uncharted like an uncharted mm-hmm. game and then that was the one good thing I was mm-hmm. like they nailed on and the comedy was good even though it was Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland even even when it was the like silent awkward stuff it was still funny silent awkward like. Uh, I mean, it even worked because like Tom, worked, Tom yeah. Holland. He's was, just looking at like, I hate you now. It even worked because I like, it really looked like mm-hmm. Tom Holland like played all the games, read Nathan Drake's script, and literally became him because he yeah. was literally talking like Nathan Drake. That that was just like okay, they actually paid attention. I feel like Nathan Drake is supposed to be a little more jocular though, a little more like loose and funny, and so that uh, he seemed a little too serious. But other than that, I really liked it. I I liked how the characters grew together. I I also liked that he, that um, Nathan Drake, get the, the, Tom Holland's character, got to, he got to learn. Because he was like, I'm just some young punk. But like he had the skills, but he didn't know anything about interacting with people who were, like, the, uh, the, the game of, like, double, triple, backstabbingly layered, you know, the, the, yeah. the guys got two girls working for him instead of one, but then the... One kills him, but then tries to kill her, and then she escapes, and then she tries to back, you know, backflip over the guy, and then the guy, you know, backstab the guy, but then the guy does a secret message thing, and she misses the message, and and it takes the, the fake message, and she's off, and you have to get to the end, and then Mark Wahlberg is there because he followed the kill in the app. I really like that. Uncharted's a very... And deeply... I'm saying it like that, but that's what it felt like. It was good. It was this different layer back and forth, and I was like, I like that. <laughs> Uncharted's I like a very... That. It's a deeply multi-layered, like... Mm-hmm. Story like all the games are like that, and that's why I love them because it, mm-hmm. that's just, it's they, they they tell the story really well. You have anything uh, else to say before you get to your? Do 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 science time with Josh. Yes, Those pirate science. ships were so freaking heavy. We but, haven't had a science but, episode in a while, so yeah, there wasn't do science. There wasn't much in the way of science in this movie. Um, I don't know. I'm surprised Mark Wahlberg had service in the middle of the jungle in the middle of nowhere. You know, I question how people get places. That's something that didn't make sense, like dynamic of speed. People were places they shouldn't have been to get to certain things. Like, I, know they- I don't know how Mark Wahlberg's character got down to grab Tom Holland to put him. It's just there's some things that are just. I know they skipped. They skipped it, and it was an interpreted with the video game loading part. But the, I, I did think it was kind of funny where it, they they told the taxi driver like, "Hey, let's go to this place." That's show them getting on a plane or doing anything like that. They just loading screen on plane. Yes. Like, uh, like the taxi driver oh. just brought them right to an airplane. It, yep. it didn't make sense. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of ridiculous. But that was part of the video game. Mm. So Something I didn't like, how they started the movie with Tom Holland on... on way, At I first, when I wa- first started yeah. it, I was like, I don't like that. And then it slowly picked up and then it got back to it. And when they got back to it, that scene made sense because you now knew she was in the car and she was going to drive at him. But to start the movie like that, I just, just That's a it part felt of weird. why I deducted so many points from the story is I feel like the way they told the story was bad. Yeah. I, I feel like they shouldn't have put the cargo sh- ship scene in this movie at all. Like, it could have been the third film or the fourth film. Mm-hmm. I was okay with the, the, heli- the, the helicopter boats because that's original. 
Just mm-hmm. don't put something in the third or fourth game, mm-hmm. the, in the third game, in the first movie. Because well, Nathan was like in his late 30s when that happened in the series. I know you're trying to do it to get fans' attention, but no, yeah, yeah. that is too early yeah. for that. Yeah, no. putting stuff in before they even... He did, Mark Wahlberg's character didn't have, didn't have the signature character look. He didn't have the wine shirt and he didn't have the cheesy mustache. Numbers-wise, um, I, I liked it. It was good, but... I don't know a, a ton about the Uncharted series, but what I knew was enough for me to know that, that there were some things that were off. And so I'm going to give it... I mean, it was good, and it was worth my time, but it wasn't great. Okay, it could have been better. So I'm going to give it 7.2. It's closer to worth my time. I enjoyed it. It was good. It, I mean, it's okay. It wasn't great. Yeah, it was basically a movie that was entertaining, but... Still pay attention. Yeah, don't well, pay for you, it's don't pay attention. Like for me, it was just entertaining, but I was seeing so many things wrong with it. But there was Ooh. enough good stuff to make me not, to make me not hate it. Sorry, the dog scratching. The last thing, I, I thought it was really cool when they had flying ships because ships don't fly. And at the very end scene where the good cinematographer, the ship lands, the the sails come down, and then it just sinks. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to say one thing about the flying ships, and then uh, that's my last thought. Treasure Planet. Oh, please. The movie gods out there, if you're listening, make a Treasure Planet. You have any last thoughts? No. <laughs> it, looks like whole, he, it looks like he's been done 20 minutes ago. The whole family. We, we have... We have, <coughs> we have Krieger Margin we've had, Jr. We've had long and, and Mike Cat and a Half. Anyways, this is Mike Check 95, and we've had... I discussed enough about this Uncharted <laughs> movie because I could probably go hours into it, but I don't want to. Richard Barger one and Orphan Joker. Remember, we're signing out. We will Have see you life. in the next review. Have a good life. Day. <laughs> Month year. <laughs>